And welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another pack with me so in today's video I will be packing my keep all 45 and my Bay's carry-on luggage for a trip to Ohio to go visit some family with my husband so really looking forward to this trip it is a little bit cooler and I think typically when I do pack with me is it's for like residency slash summertime trips so I thought it'd be nice to show y'all what I kind of do in the winter um, luckily with this trip, we're just going to visit family. We don't have too much planned, so it's really just bringing casual clothes. I am also working while we're going to be there, so I just need to bring stuff to work remotely, and then we'll probably go to a few dinners, but, um, it's going to be pretty cold, um, because it's still February, and I think it's going to be colder than it is here, so got to pack some sweaters, coat, different things like that. So, yeah, I'm going to put the camera around, and... Um, I have everything for the most part that I'm going to pack. I'm doing laundry now. I don't know if y'all can hear it in the background, but I have a few more leggings and stuff that I'll need to put in here. Um, but for the most part, y'all will see how, um, I'm going to be packing for the trip. So I thought the best place to do this was my office, um, because of the lighting and then because most of my stuff is up here, as y'all know. So here is the Bay's carry-on luggage and I've had a few questions. So this is my Keep All 45. This is a vintage piece. It does not have the straps. And so I like using these two together. One, you know, black and black looks good. But two, this part comes off so that you can carry hats or bags. And so when I am traveling, I like just putting these two together and it'll hold. I've carried like three laptops in this thing and it held this. This is very strong. So um, I don't have any issues with it ever falling off or anything. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. But um, let me see if I can zoom out a bit. But yeah, this holds it perfectly. So we have that. I just wanted to answer that question. I think we'll do the suitcase first and then um, go into the Keep All 45. So I brought some clothes over here, as you can see by this beautiful pile. And this suitcase, I've done reviews, but you have two little pockets, um, one side, a compressor, and then a second size. So I typically keep all of my clothes on one side and it's typically on this side where the handle is because I kind of use the handle as a little organizer and Mira's going to try and get in the way, of course. But I just brought a few things. I have one pair of leggings. I'm washing the rest. I'll probably bring um, maybe like one more pair or two pairs. So we'll be there for Sunday night. We get in Sunday. So Sunday night and we leave Thursday. So Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, leaving Thursday. And I'll reuse the same pair of leggings, so that's not an issue. Um, and for the most part, I'll be probably just recycling some outfits as well. And then we'll have access to a washer and dryer. I have just a plain white t-shirt to like sleep in. I'll probably need to grab another one. Um, and then some shorts and then sweaters and shirts. So I like to keep most things together because again, this is more of like a casual trip. Uh, I'll probably just keep shirts in one place and pants in another. Typically I'll keep like personal clothes in one side and then um, like work, like if I'm traveling for work, keep that separated. Or if I'm traveling for, I think Mira moved the camera. Uh, if I'm traveling for school, I'll keep my school clothes in a separate area just so that's nice and organized, so. We got shirt and leggings so far. And then, let's move this back a bit. Typically on this other side, I'll put like my straightener 
and then my toiletry pouch. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for this trip because I want to bring a heavier coat so that might be dedicated towards the coat um, because I don't want to like worry about it in the airport. So we'll see on that. Here are some shorts. What I think I'll do is I'll put like the sleepwear together. I'll put this in the middle. All right, and then we get into just like my regular shirts. So I'm bringing a vest and then two shirts and then two sweaters. So I figured that would cover each of the days. And then the vest. I might even wear the vest to the airport. Actually, yeah, I think I might wear the vest on the airport because that way I have like pockets for like my phone and headphones, which will be nicer. So I'm not going to pack that. So yeah, we have sweater. I might actually bring the black version of this sweater and not this one since it's a little bit thinner too. So I think I'm changing my mind on what I'm packing, but we have that. It's a very simple um, I can put in my other like sleeping clothes in here. Um, my underwear I typically put in here and then I'll put like dirty clothes in here if I don't use this for something else. But we have that and so I'll add everything else later on. Um, I do plan on bringing like my straightener and stuff. So that will, I typically put it in like this one right hand corner. And I also have my Keep All 45. I did a separate video on packing that just because it was my first time. So I have this Dior Mitza. This was like a gift of purchase pouch. And so I'm gonna have my straightener in here. So I'll pretend this is my straightener for now. And then here's the Mitza. So this just has toiletries that I will need like once we have access to a bathroom. So deodorant, hair products, some Q-tips, eyeshadow palettes, moisturizer, toner, etc. And then I know typically people say, hey, don't, you know, um, put like luxury items in your carry on, carry it with you, like in your personal item. I, we personally are never too far away from our luggage and I've never had issues. So I do plan on just carrying this in here. Um, so we have my keep all mini and then we'll have room for the coat in here. And then that's everything for the suitcase. So I can close this temporarily. Uh, actually, let's do a shot view so y'all can see what it looks like from an angle. So here's what the suitcase looks like and we'll do the keep all next. I'll probably put the keep all on my desk and do it like the typical angle that I normally do. So we're done with the suitcase. Right, and then we have my keep all 45. Right, so I think that's gonna be the best angle to see everything that goes in here. And so this is everything that I just need easy access to essentially when I'm traveling and just want to keep with me. So this Smargo Organize has a water bottle holder on both sides. And then there's three pockets on both sides on the front and the back. I really have this just to keep its shape and to somewhat bring structure, but for the most part, I don't really use the pockets. That could change, like I could probably keep a few things in here, but for this trip, we have my new, to me, Louis Vuitton Toilet Tree Pouch 26. I typically bring my Gucci Ophidia pouch, but I uh, recently got this one and wanted to use it. So this has all of my chargers. So I have my mouse, my iMac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch charger, and then I also have my planner um, accessories in here. So pens and highlighters. I also have just some cards in here. I'm going to take this out. And then um, similar to what I do with my Gucci Opedia, I'm gonna be using the key pouch for my AirPods for this trip. And I still wanna take them with. I'm also bringing another pair of headsets um, that I recently got, but just in case I wanna use something different, I don't know, um, I'll just bring them because it's not that much room. So we have that. Let me close that up and put this inside. And we have that first item in there. 
And then we have my new headset, speaking of headsets, that we will be bringing. So I really love these and really excited to travel with these. These are um, some Sony headphones. I'll have everything linked below that I can link. I know I haven't said that yet, um, including my Bayes discount codes. If it's your first purchase, you can get 10% off Bayes with that link. And um, I get, I think, $10 in credits when you use it, which I use to like buy stuff and do reviews for you guys. So, yeah, we have that. So we have headphones, toiletries, like that's all tech. And then we have my work laptop. So this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch, and we're just gonna slide that in there. Um, I'm not too worried about it damaging, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't have a skin or anything on it. Um, but we have that and then I have my GM cosmetic pouch so when I travel I like to keep my like makeup in here I typically you use I typically carry makeup in here anyway so I have like lip balm but I'm gonna throw in another mascara and eyeliner in here and then I have like all the essentials that I carry every day so hand cream tissues um lip balm which I threw back in here purse spray and then hand sanitizer things that you need at the airport stuff like that so we have that if i was concerned about the niece mini um like i would never check it but because we're gonna have that bag on me um i would put it in here but honestly i'm not concerned about anything happening to it as i mentioned so we're gonna keep it in there. Between the Nice Mini and the cosmetic pouch, I have everything that I need toiletry wise. So I have that. And then I haven't decided if I'm bringing my medium ring or my large ring agenda. I kinda wanna bring my large ring um, just because I've been using it more and there's more stuff in here. So we have that. And then I wanna bring my St. Laurent travel mug. I purchased this recently purposely for like when I travel because it's nice and slim so if I have to throw something out I can but also so I have a water bottle on the go when I travel and it's nice and like I said it's slim so it can fit anywhere so I'll put that in the corner and then I can get water at the airport um, I have this seat back organizer from Bay's and what I really like about this is um, I love traveling with it because it's so slim, but like I have, I, I can put my pens and um, anything that I need tech wise on the flight. And so before you sit down, you can just take this out of your personal item. You just tuck this into the seat in front of you and then you have a storage space for everything. So I'll put my iPad mini in here, for example, and then my iPhone, and then I'll have access to everything on the flight. So I really love this. I don't know what happened to this and why it looks like this, but I mean, it doesn't affect me. I'll probably move my pens now that I think about it out of my toiletry pouch and just keep them in here for the entire trip. Um, I didn't use it on my trip to Nashville, so I've just been using that toiletry pouch for everything. But see, like I can put all of this in here and if I want to bring like a highlighter too and probably like let's bring some sticky notes but like, I can just fill this up and take everything with me which is really nice and then I have access to it on the plane and don't have to worry about it um all I can also I would typically keep before I got a case that could hold my apple pencil put that in there but this holds it pretty well and it's nice. You can also put your like laptop in here, for example, um, and it'll hold it. So you can just slide it in because you know when you're taking off, you can't use it. So that way you can easily take it in and out. And then once you land, you can just put it all back in your bag. But um, I like to just set this up beforehand so that way it's, I'm ready to go and I just gotta pull it out. I'm not distracting anybody with it. So I say that because I'm gonna put my iPad mini in my travel case too. So my, my husband got me this for Christmas and it has a keyboard. I have personally just found that I like using my iPad more than my 
um, laptop when I'm um, traveling like on the plane itself um, because it's just more compact it's easier you can also use it um, when you're taking off or landing as opposed to a laptop which you would have to put up and can only use in flight so it's just also like based on whatever table you get it'll fit on any table especially the mini now like this is my first time traveling with the mini but I have this case for my husband so I have the keyboard because I will be like writing stuff and working on schoolwork so um, when it comes to packing it I'm just putting this directly in here so it's ready to go when we sit down and then I have all the pens and stuff in here as well now so we'll just slide that in the corner and so because that's everything that I'm going to need oh and I would typically put my airpods in here because I'll be using my headset that's one less thing to actually put in there but of course if it's your airpods too I think that's the one like advantage of smaller headphones is that you know, this is literally everything I would need. I'll probably put my headphones on before we go into the plane anyway, so that works out well, because I'll probably just be using it at the airport regardless, but um, typically if I'm not using them or wearing them, I have them in here. But yeah, that is, I think, everything that I'm gonna be bringing in here. And so one thing that I will do is I'll put my um, like wallet and stuff either in the toiletry pouch or in one of these like pockets that are in my purse right now or if I'm bringing a small purse I would just keep it in there and put the purse in here um, because typically I don't travel with larger bags I travel with like my minis or something I might actually bring my mini my, my phone my Saint Laurent phone holder um, purse because I really love that and I think it'll be nice compact and I can keep everything in there so yeah that is what I'll bring so I'll slide that in um, but that's what will be in my keeple and then um, my suitcase. So other than that, that is everything that I'm packing and that is going to be it for this video. If you all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.